So Kazanov in the red for Slovakia, and he wastes no time looking for that outside single. He has been offense, and I tell you what, he has been lights out over the last three and a half months. Last week in Warsaw, he became the third Slovakian wrestler to win a European gold medal. He was able to score an improbable come from behind win. Had a number of them, in fact, at the European Championships last week. First one was over two-time world champ Frank Chimizo. Then he took down the world silver medalist Kinchadze of Georgia. Actually trailed that match 5-0. Eventually won the finals over Miroslav Kirov of Bulgaria. Technical superiority needed five minutes to do it. 10 nothing win and punching his European Continental Championship. And Saul Kazanov has not missed a beat today. It's amazing what momentum can do in this sport. You had an athlete in Saul Kazanov who just struggled mightily at the European Olympic qualifying tournament. But he is back on track in a big way. But here comes Belarus. Low single here, that knee bit. It's in a precarious position. The referee will jump in and stop it immediately. Both these wrestlers a little testy early on. They cracked heads a couple of times and saw a little testiness there on the potentially dangerous stoppage. That's really how Solkazanov has wrestled over the last month. He, he just is one of those guys who is always on the attack, always looking for the opportunity to score. And no surprise here, it will be Belarus on the activity clock. His engine is just relentless. This guy does not wear down when talking about the athlete of red. Talked about his come from behind victories, his conditioning is one of his greatest strengths and he just gets stronger and stronger as the match goes on and on and as you can tell he wrestles at a high pace to begin with there's a low shot by the european champion from belarus activity clock expires saw kazanov with a one nothing lead but an opportunity for kazahamandaw to maybe get two here still has that leg secured see if he goes maybe to a shelving mechanism has the leg, look for that back trip. Balanced by Salkazanov, still a lot of time. Oh, you see the acrobatic flea there. But now latching on to the second leg is Belarus. He can bring those knees down, that third point of contact he does, and Belarus grabs the lead. Good job by Kazan Hamadaw to get the two near the end of the period. First period will come to an end, and it is Belarus with a two to one lead. When you look at Belarus, the year's wrestling for Makma Khabib, he'll turn 27 later this month. He actually started his career wrestling for Russia, made the switch to Belarus last year. While at Russia, he won a national championship in 2017. The Russian national championships, one of the uh, more highly regarded inter-country tournament across the world. Just speaking of the Russian firepower that they have and the depth of talent and success. So when you win the Russian nationals, you're doing something pretty well. And he was able to do that, but decided to make the move to Belarus, and it's been a, a good move. He won the gold medal at the European Championships last year, and now with a two to one lead, trying to punch his ticket to the Olympic Games in 2021. But he's doing it against a guy who just relishes second periods. Saw Kazanov down a point, looking for his first offense. 
Right arm under hook. There's that slide by, pass by, and two coming around the side. Nicely done and a four to one lead. Felt that pressure, goes into a body lock, has it around the upper chest area. The official blows it dead. Back on to the feet. Belarus looking fresh in a four to one lead. Now in on a single comes uh, Salkazanov. Has that leg. Props Belarus right down to his rear. Trying to come over the top. You see the body draping. Now a reverse grip looking maybe for a suplex opportunity. And over the top they go for four. Oh, tremendous strength. Eight to one. See if two gets confirmed or if they go one, they'll go two there for Salkazanov. But how about the strength from Belarus, the four-pointer. And an 8-3 lead. Big move right there, creating a little bit of separation. Again, he's able just to shuck him on by near the edge for two. That has been a common maneuver in this second period. Double digit points put up. Kadzi Hamamadu with a comfortable 10-3 lead. Now it's been interesting, it has been the, uh, the initial shot coming from Salkazanov. The last two points, and even on the four-pointer, it was Salkazanov who started it with that deep sink. But the poise, the strength, we talked about the experience in the Belarus corner, and these types of maneuvers, again, just slamming him on by, keeping his balance. And he is a point away from ending it early. Impressive semifinal showing here by Belarus. Found a way to turn the aggressiveness of Salkazanov against him, using that aggressiveness to his advantage. Salkazanov will keep shooting, but it will be Belarus who will keep moving. And it's Belarus clenching a spot to the Olympic Games. Double-digit points. He snaps the prolonged win streak 